Well, the University of Findlay County down to the total solar eclipse, and they've got some fun events coming up. And to tell us more about it, we have Dr. Nathan Tice. He is the chair of the Department of Physical Sciences and associate professor of chemistry at Finley. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I mean, the countdown has been on, and I assume, you know, in your classes and in your work that you've been excited for the eclipse. Yeah, a absolutely. Uh, the, the campus is really buzzing. Uh, we actually just had uh, sort of a, a CTE, we call the Center for Teaching Excellence uh, informational session, and it was, it was very well attended in person and online. So folks are excited. Students are really getting interested. And I've, I've checked my countdown clock sort of every day. So it's about 26 days. So folks are really excited about uh, the eclipse and what we're doing on campus. Yeah, and some of the stuff you're doing on campus, the public's invited. So let's talk about that. Um, coming up on Sunday, March 24th, you have an event. Yeah, so if you've never been to the Mazza Museum, now is a great time to do that. Uh, Mazza, if you, you're not aware, is the world's largest collection of original children's illustration art. Um, so from artists from all over the world, from many of the children's books that you probably know and recognize. Uh, so Mazza actually does what's known as a Fun Day Sunday. Um, and this Fun Day Sunday is actually going to be on Sunday, March 24th, as you mentioned. We have a very special guest, uh, Catherine Sullivan. Uh, that may, name might be familiar to you. She's the, very, the first American woman to walk in space. Um, so it's a special event. She's going to be there starting at 1 p.m. Um, and also later in the evening, there's going to be a, an event afterwards at 6.30, more for adults. So she's going to hang around and talk about her life, uh, how she got into, um, uh, became an astronaut and her career. And, and she's, it's just a fascinating uh, life and, and a really impressive uh, scientist and, and aeronautics engineer. So um, don't miss it. It's a great event. So uh, please, please do join. Yeah, that sounds wonderful, meet an astronaut like that. Okay, so the eclipse is on Monday, but leading up to that, you guys have some events um, on the campus. So tell us about that. Yeah, so Saturday and Sunday, we're going to be open. I mean, like we said, is we're, we're welcoming the public. We are going to be an official viewing location for the city of Finley on, on Monday. But on Saturday and Sunday, we're actually going to be open. Uh, the planetarium, if you've never been to our new hard planetarium, is actually going to be open on Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we're going to be basically showing a planetarium shows on the hour about the eclipse. So we welcome everyone into that space as well. It's newly renovated and it's really great uh, great way to engage people in the eclipse and learn more about astronomy. Um, also, the Mazza Museum will be open during those same times, so basically approximately 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on that Saturday and Sunday. So it's a great time to sort of check out uh, the collection and what the Mazza Museum has to offer. So that, again, those are free and open to the public. Okay, and then the big day, you have some stuff planned too. Tell us about April 8th. That's right. So we're guaranteeing clear skies. Now, we, we can't do that, uh, but we're hoping for clear skies. But regardless, we will be open. Like you said, our campus is open to the public, and we really want to welcome visitors and Eclipse tourists. So starting at about 10 a.m., like you said, we will sort of be uh, setting up on the Corey Street Mall, which is right on the center of campus. We'll have booths and games and STEM engagement activities. Uh, we're really hoping to sort of get our students and our student clubs engaged on campus and welcoming visitors. Um, the STEAM Center, which is the 4,000 square foot um, lab area that Mazza runs, will be open for tours and demos and sort of fun STEM activities. And also the Mazza Museum will be open. So again, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for Mazza and the STEAM Center. And of course, the Planetarium will be doing shows, right? Starting at 10.15, approximately every 45 minutes, 10, 10 15, 11, 11, 45, and 12, 30. And then they're actually gonna do a couple of shows after the eclipse so if you want to hang out and you don't want to get stuck in traffic right 3 45 and 4 30 after the eclipse of course we're suggesting folks um join us then at around one one to two o'clock we're going to be transitioning to the eclipse time the eclipse will actually be starting at 2 p.m um so we're going to encourage people to move out into the green space in front of the college of business and student life center the cbsl building so that will be kind of our preferred or suggested location for viewing for the eclipse right that's kind of a good area for everybody to gather in and, and mm -hmm. check it out and as you said clear skies that day <laughs> that's right <laughs> um who knows it's 26 days away anything can happen in ohio but we're hoping for clear skies exactly some great stuff happening at the university of finley thanks very much for joining us today and telling us all about it
Thanks a lot, Holly. All right, don't go away. Need Edition continues in a moment.